Hi, I'm Tommy, and welcome to this episode of Beneath the Build. Today, we're going to talk about comparing different types of geogrids. So when you encounter soft soils, there are different options, and geogrids are one of the key ones that you want to focus on here today. So geogrids come in different shapes, sizes, and material properties. You have some biaxials, triaxials, uh, and you have interacts. So when you're looking at comparing these, you can't directly compare to uh, material properties or their shape. You have to do performance validation to understand how they're going to work. Uh, as part of that, you may need a thicker aggregate base for certain products or a thinner one, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, as you go through this, you have to evaluate what you are wanting from the final project. Is it a time saving? Is it a cost saving? Uh, and what that might be. If you're allowed to swap in different products, having that performance data is key because you can't just take an index property or a material property and swap that out. For instance, there are certain grids that are the same shape, but may be made of different materials and they may have different performance. So you want to keep that in mind as you choose which product may be best for your site based on your time and budget considerations.